In the late days of World War II, the Soviet Union saw the need for a strategic bombing capability. The Soviet Air Force had few heavy bombers, and by the end of the war they had become obsolete. Inspired by the U.S. bombing campaigns on Japan, the Soviet Union expressed interest in obtaining B-29 Superfortress bombers, through the Lend-Lease program. The U.S. however refused to supply B-29s to the Soviet Air Force. On four occasions, U.S. B-29 bombers attacking Japan had made emergency landings in the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was neutral in the Pacific War, and kept the U.S. bombers. The U.S. demanded them returned, but the Soviets refused this. One B-29 was dismantled by Tupolev, another one was tested and a third was kept as a reference. Stalin ordered Tupolev to clone the B-29, and cancel the ongoing Tupolev Tu-10 project. 900 factories and research institutes were involved in the cloning, and the design was finished in one year. By the end of the second year, 20 copies of the B-29 was to be produced. The Soviet Union used the metric system, sheet aluminium and thicknesses matching the B-29's imperial measurements were unavailable. Extensive re-engineering had to take place to compensate for the differences, but the prototype Tupolev Tu-4 weighed only about 340 kilograms more than the B-29, a difference of less than 1%. Stalin wanted the clone to be as close to the original B-29 as possible. Every alteration had to be approved. The first flight of the Tu-4 took place May 19, 1947. Serial production started immediately, and the aircraft entered large-scale service in 1949. The aircraft was first displayed during a flyover at the Aviation Day Parade, on August 3, 1947. This was the moment Western analysts realized that the Soviets must have reverse-engineered the B-29. Production of the Tu-4 ended in 1952. By then 847 aircraft had been produced. Many experimental variants were built, and the valuable experience launched the Soviet strategic bomber program. In the late 50s, a number of Tu-4s were exported to China, where it remained in service until 1988.